Yo, what is going on guys? First off, I just want to welcome all of you to my Cerberus guide. Cerberus is portrayed as a formidable, daunting boss. So my ultimate goal is to ensure to all of you that underneath that satanic-like fur, he's just a cute dog in need of some attention. But he's still satanic, so be attentive when attempting this boss. Okay guys, onwards. So now I'm going to mention in depth a few notable drops that will maybe give you the incentive to slay the boss. Speaking of Slayer, I regretfully inform you all that you do have to have a minimum of 91 Slayer to attempt this boss. May I suggest slaying blue, iron, or steel dragons until you have enough dragon bones to 99 prayer. It's kind of like killing two birds with one stone. Now the reason I suggest slaying dragons is because there is a direct teleport to them via monster teleport. So that's pretty much what I did to 91 Slayer. Also be absolutely sure that you vote. Not only to help the server, but to benefit yourself greatly. When you redeem an auth code, you get 57 minutes of bonus experience and 20 vote points, guys. You can redeem a code by speaking to the vote manager just southwest of the edge bank. He's a very fashionable NPC I have to say so you can't really miss him. Okay so on to the drops. First we have the well known three primary drops that Cerberus is most known for, the Primordial, Pegasian, and Eternal Crystal, which can be converted into the three best in slot boots for melee, ranged, and magic. Use the Primordial Crystal on Dragon Boots to make the Primordial Boots, the Pegasian Crystal on Ranger Boots to make the Pegasian Boots, and lastly the Eternal Crystal on Affinity Boots to make Eternal Boots. In order to be able to make these boots, you will need to have a minimum of 60 runecrafting and 60 magic. These boots are dropped at a very generous 0.24%, making the chance of receiving them 1 out of 400 16. There's also another item that has the same drop rate percentage, however, does not exactly compete or compare with the great perks that the three boots have to offer. And that item is the Smoldering Stone. This item can be converted into either an Infernal Axe by using the stone on a Dragon Axe or into an Infernal Pickaxe by using the stone on a Dragon Pickaxe. Another item that Cerberus drops is the Jar of Souls. This item does not have any use at the moment, so if you do receive this item, try and be optimistic as I'm sure it will have use in the future. This item has a 0.06 drop rate percentage, making the rate 1 out of 1,666. The last rare item is the Hell Puppy. This item is strictly cosmetic, however, it will gather an innumerable amount of compliments and positive feedback as it follows behind you. The Hell Puppy has a fair rate of 0.04, making the ultimate drop rate 1 out of 2,500. If you obtain this item, I'm jealous. Three other mentionable drops are coins that vary from 100 to 200k, 20 noted dragon bones, and an elite clue scroll. Cerberus is a very enjoyable boss once you get the simple maneuverability down, which is what we are about to tackle in this next segment in order for you to do this boss effectively. Now for the gear setup, I suggest you wear the best gear you have, and if that's rune armor with the dragon scimitar, that's absolutely awesome and still very doable. If you have void, then that is also great. You can also use range gear. If you have a rune crossbow or a blowpipe, you could use that and it would work just as well. Alright guys, moving forward to the inventory. I suggest bringing along one super strength, one super attack, and a prayer pot just in case, and perhaps some carrot bombs or ceradolin brews just so you have the option of eating twice in one game tick. If you do choose to bring a ceradolin brew along, be sure to bring one super store to restore your stats back to normal. A special attack weapon is optional. To get to Cerberus, speak to the teleport wizard, click bosses, and scroll down until you see Cerberus and select it. You will then be teleported into a cave that makes out a T shape. There are three paths in which you can take, but just take the northern one because they all lead to the same result. You will then see an iron winch, turn it. The screen will then dim and when it brightens back up, you will be in Cerberus's lair. When arrived, turn on Protect for Magic and Piety and then pot up. These are the prayers you will be using the whole fight. When you're ready, head north to fight Cerberus. If you are using a DDS, go ahead and rough him up with 4 special attacks. Why not? Cerberus' main emote is raising up on his two hind legs. It's nothing more than an intimidating emote. Cerberus will throw Shadow Balls and Spiraling Maces at you for his primary attack, which don't do much damage. The only thing you are specifically looking out for is dialogue that appears on top of his head that reads Grr. As soon as you see this, move out of the lava splats that he spawns. There will always be five of them. It is best if you move as soon as you see it, if at all possible, rather than waiting for a lava splat to appear. The lava splats can do a lot of damage if you do not stray away from them immediately. So be extra observant and careful of your HP, never letting it go below 50 if you can help it. When Cerberus says Aru, the Soul Devourer, which is the weird brown mummy behind him, will then summon three different attacks from his eyes. If this is to happen, you will be pelted with a fireball, spiral attack, and a ghost. Pay them no mind as they don't do much damage, if any. There's really nothing else to it, so get your loot, teleport home, head north to replenish your HP and prayer, and repeat the process. Alright guys, that is it. I hope to help you in any way possible. Stay safe, and later.